name's Eric Latender. I'm author of the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. Today's video, I want to talk about the recall command. Dogs coming back when you call them. Does your dog come back? If your dog doesn't come back, you are not alone, my friend. Because dogs not coming back to their owners is a very, very common thing. A lot of dogs, when they're young, they're very good at coming back. Hey, look at this. Martini wants to uh, play. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> pay attention to me. A lot of dogs do not come back to their owners when they call them, and it is because of the owner's fault. Let me explain. What happens, and I can explain this in two words, what happens is that the dog makes a negative association with coming back to you when you call them. It's called unintentional punishment. Unintentional punishment is simply simply means that you didn't mean to punish the dog, but it happened anyways. It's kind of like gravity always works. If you're on a, a roof and you're backing up and you trip, gravity's going to work. You're going to hit the ground. If you jump, same thing's going to happen. Punishment, something negative happens to the dog, whether you meant it or if you didn't mean it, it's still going to have a negative effect on your dog. So what happens a lot of times is that the dog is off leash, having a good time. This usually happens around four or five months old. When the dog is young, they tend to stick close to you. Did you ever, never notice that with your puppies? They're young, they're 12 weeks old, 10 weeks old, they're very close to you. And then as they start to get a little older, they start to get a little more brave, they start to explore their world a little more. And it usually happens at the beach or in the woods, but what the, what the dog owner does is they let the dog off leash because he's been good at coming back to them as a puppy kind of sticks close by. Now the puppy says, wow, this is a great big world out here. So they start exploring. They start running around. They're having a good time. They're down the beach. They're rolling in dead fish. They're eating dead crabs, jumping in the waves, chasing the kids. And then dad says, Fluffy, come. Fluffy looks at dad, leaves the crabs, leaves the waves, comes racing to dad. He reaches down. He takes the leash, clip, puts the leash on the dog, walks off the beach, goes in his car, drives home. Now, from our point of view, hey, we need to get the dog back. We need to leave the beach now. It's time to go home. But think about it from your dog's point of view. He's out there having a great time, having fun, comes racing back to you. You put the leash on, game over. What is your dog going to remember the next time he gets let off leash down the beach or out the park or in the woods? He's going to remember at the end, he comes back to you and <laughs> leash gets put on unintentional punishment. So we have to make sure that we don't unintentionally punish our dogs for coming to us when we call them. And there's ways around that. And if you'd like to learn more about unintentional punishment and how to avoid it, get my free report, Eight Simple Steps to Teaching Your Dog to Come When Called. And you can get it at my website, alwayscomewhencalled.com. Wow, that's a great name. Go check it out. Thanks for watching this video and good luck with your dog.